Hello everyone, how are you all? Uh, welcome to the computer class again. This is your computer teacher Sumit Sadana. Uh, as you can see on your screen, uh, today's discussion is about lesson 7 that is review Python. And this is uh, this is gonna be a very much interesting chapter as um, your class is containing this programming language chapter which is very much important and which will definitely help you out in the future uh, to have a better career in uh, IT sector right those who are very much interested in making their career in computers in uh, basically known as the information technology sector IT sector right so let's start uh, our chapter uh, our lesson 7 that is review python python is basically a high level language uh, high level language we have many types of languages uh, and the python is one of them and uh, in this lesson we'll be dealing with features of python language data types in python precedence of operators installing python on your computer type function uh, comments in python working modes of python input function types of control structures variables operators in python conditional statements okay next chapter is also python related to python only that is eighth chapter okay so that is iterative statements of uh, python those are known as the looping statements right so let's start this chapter so here uh, see one picture is given to you that is uh, on the left side that is in, the, in some baskets and all kids clay is written which is acting as an input that means clay is being given to the uh, girl child right here uh, in the photo and uh, that is uh, the process mode means a clay in the form of input will be given and molding the clay that means the processing is going on after processing toys made with clay that is the furnished product or the output you can see that so uh, the, the motive to show you this input process output structure is that a computer is basically you know categorized into three steps or the working procedure is dependent on the cycle which is known as the IPO cycle that is input processing or process or output uh, cycle ipo cycle of a computer everyone knows that because the user used to give input and the processing takes place by the computer at the back end and after that whatever result will be displayed on a screen it is as a output okay so uh, this was a normal example of formation of clay in the form of input process output so let's talk about the features of python so python is a general purpose high level programming language that means high level means uh, i'll tell you first is the assembly language which is uh, on off and all that the language which is on the motherboard and all right uh, next is your low level language or the machine language which is commonly understandable by a computer only or a machine that is in the form of 0 and 1 okay and uh, high level language is a language which is understandable by a human being uh, and we can write it and the programming language or the codes in the form of high level language that means English or the digits 0 to 9 and all uh, and after that writing uh, the computer is always having their own compiler interpreter to convert or means you can say that the normal layman language is a translator which translates your understandable language that means human understand understandable language to the computer understandable language okay that's why it is known as a high level language because we can easily write in terms of uh, a, B, C, D, X, Y, Z and all the numbers we can use, the special characters we can use but these are not uh, understandable by the computer it gets converted by a translator to the computer understandable language or the machine language ok so the first feature is simple and interactive that means uh, the python language is very much simple and very much easier than others provided you must know the syntax how to use it where to use it when to use it and interactive means you will be you know 
uh, interacting with the Python, whatever uh, you are giving as an input to the Python will be coming as an output, right? Whatever you write. Okay, that depends upon your input. Next is platform independence. Python can run on any operating system. Uh, likewise, I'm using Windows 7, so it can run easily on Windows 7 also, although it is banned means operating system is banned then also I can use it next is case sensitive case sensitive means if you have written capital A and if you have written small a both are having a different meaning in Python okay uh, you cannot say that uh, a, is e a is equal to 90 that means capital A is equal to 90 if you write small a is equal to 90 both are different okay next is uh, object oriented that means whatever goal you want to achieve it will definitely be achieved whatever object you give it's object oriented interpreted language interpreted language means they have all the compilers interpreters in it in it so it gets interpreted uh, line by line word by word letter by letter string by string i'll tell you each and every term whatever i'm using uses variables without declaration that means no need to declare the variables before using it that means whenever i'll just uh, tell you a brief uh, about what are variables variables are those uh, which change their value during the execution of the program right uh, and uh, <coughs> whenever we are writing any sort of program we used to declare the variables first that means if a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 so we have to define it that a is a is an integer type or a character type or what kind of uh, data will be entering with the help of this variable right and the variable is one which is holding some value okay those are variables like in maths x is equal to 10 y is equal y is equal to 20 so x and y both are variables which is holding some value okay so we have we have to uh, give uh, or declare these variables beforehand but here not allowed or you can use without declaration all these feature make python a popular language which is nowadays very much popular and is you know whatever servers we are using that means whatever internet access we are getting those are basically being written in the python form and in linux okay with a combination of these so it was created by Gerdo van Rusum uh, at CWI that is Centrum Viscune and Informatica uh, that is um, and it can be used for designing console apps console apps like uh, the programming is involved like C, C++ language uh, desktop applications, web applications, mobile applications, machine learning, robotics and performing scientific computations um, some popular applications which are designed using Python is YouTube Google, Dropbox, uh, there is a Cloudbox, uh, Instagram, Quora, BitTorrent, and many more, many, many more are there, right? You just search over it. So next is installing Python on our computer. So you can download various Python distributes. Distribute means you have different different versions of softwares from this link. I just opened it for you. This is Python.org download. So you can easily download it. I have just downloaded it. Let me show you this. Um, this one python 3.9.1 embedded window 32 that means my uh, operating system is windows 32 32 is a bit if you have a 64 bit system you can have uh, 64 bit also uh, when you click here um, let's let me show you once you click it you will have all the distributes but here also you are having right whatever version you want to do uh, you know download it you can easily download with a single click uh, just downloaded it and uh, so let me show you this uh, structure here i'll go to all programs uh, i mean how to start it you have to click on the start after installing it uh, and then the python i'm having 3.2 then you have to you know click here python gui that is ideal integrated development kit environment once I click it, uh, I have a same Python shell uh, which is here. Right. Uh, let me make it a restored one. Okay, right. So it's simple, clear, and uh, this is in the form of GUI mode, right? So now is a working modes of Python. 
so how many modes are there there are two types of modes that is interactive mode and script mode okay in an interactive mode uh, the interpreter executes the statements one by one that means whatever we will write one by one so this is basically the interactive mode let me tell you how to operate it uh, or either we should go with the steps okay after that we can have another session so let's go with the steps only because it will be you know difficult for you how you have used it sir uh, and number of questions would come in your mind so uh, so the interpreter executes the statements one by one that means whatever we will write here will be executed side by side okay that means one by one and uh, after the first statement is executed successfully it moves to the next statement that is what I am saying okay so this is what uh, one example is given to you um, this much is uh, same here like type now I have to type Python is a high level programming language and the immediate after pressing the enter button the same thing will be displayed because see I am using a single quote here I have just put single quote then Python is a high level language single quote done closed and if I press enter the same thing will be displayed in blue color got it so that means whatever you write uh, it is in an interactive mode that means this python is basically interacting with you whatever you are writing it is giving the result on the spot okay so either you want to calculate something if i'll be writing 18 it will display 18 okay if i write uh, 12 plus 15 it will give 27 okay you can see easily okay so this was integer data type integer means uh, INT is the short form and what basically integers uh, are these are the numbers they can have a minus also and they can have a plus also right plus numbers or the negative numbers or the positive numbers if I'll be writing minus 2 minus 2 will be displayed if I'll be writing 2 2 will be displayed because these are integers okay and uh, what about the uh, points the decimal numbers uh, I'll show you if I'll be writing 13.467 I'm entering 13.567 sorry 467 I said uh, 567 the same will be displayed okay or these are basically the input and in the blue color it's the output so now I'll be writing something you just see the magic or the interaction which the python is doing with us I'll be writing 12 is less than 87 it is true see this is the boolean type uh, data type basically boolean type data which we have entered that means boolean means to either true or false okay and uh, uh, 12 is less than 87 if it is true then it will display true if it is less than 10 it will display false okay so it is very simple uh, if you will be adding the bigger amount then also you can easily have the answer so this was the interactive mode so now under the interactive mode I'll be having some functions here functions are denoted with small a string and the parenthesis okay so print is a word including the parenthesis so print function can be used in the interactive mode as well as in the script mode this can be used in both the modes but still we are doing the first interactive mode do not get confused i have not uh, said any script mode or any i have not shown any script mode working here i am just using the interactive mode i'll tell you how when to use and uh, uh, how i am using it huh? so the print function is used to display user defined messages on screen so you can see here on your screen that some messages have been written by a user so let's uh, you know write it uh, so print function so i'll be writing make it in a small letters only right uh, print then bracket start then single quote because single quote will tell you what you are writing and what thing you want to be printed as it is okay this is an example of so i'll be writing is an example of print function bracket close enter 
immediate after pressing enter i got the same thing that is this is an example of print function but but see the difference when i was not using the print function i have written python is a high level language including the first code okay and the second code that means the, uh, oh, the starting and the ending code single code so the same thing codes were also you know uh, uh, printed and now i am using the printf function and the bracket start in between the bracket i use the single quote uh, right the starting and the ending quote and see the output there are no quotes uh, either at the start, starting or at the ending point okay so this is the feature of print function so whatever is inside the parentheses or the brackets it will be displayed but not the quotes or not the commas okay so now another function is the sum function so the print function is there under print they have used some operator right that is the plus operator so i'll be writing sorry print bracket start comma the the sum of two numbers 12 and 56 is then then single quote then comma okay because uh, till here from the sum till this i have uh, written some content which must be displayed before the addition then uh, single quote closed then separated by a comma because this one this is acting as a one argument which has been written here argument is a kind of you know similar to expression so now i'll be writing uh, 12 and plus that is 56 and the bracket close and enter so can you see it is very much easy so this was a totally representing that means uh, the sum of two numbers 12 and 56 is then i have used in uh, column then one space was given by me this was used for the representation of the answer means that i want uh, this thing and 68 in a very differentiated manner okay i just want you to tell you that you can use these um, if you give a uh, bigger space means if you give more than one space or two space then also here two or three whatever how many uh, spaces you will be giving it will be displayed here next is we can use many separators with print functions to format the displayed result as i just told you that i have used simple one space only so one space is given here before uh, writing the answer of addition so here is comma to print the next value after space okay next is slash 9 n that means a new line or uh, slash t that means tab okay that one tab is equal to five spaces here but actually it is eight spaces okay so let me show you the working of these also Sorry, print okay then 10 comma 20 I'm pressing and enter. Can you see that? A space has been given here. Okay. So if I'll be writing, sorry, printing, sorry, print uh, 10, then comma, then in the inverted comma. So you're not in the inverted, in the single code, basically, slash T, okay, then close, then comma 20 okay entering uh, five spaces between 10 and 20 is given okay so what about new line right print 10 then comma because one argument is 10 another argument is in single com quote that is n means will be putting in a new line then inverted uh, single quote close then comma then 20 enter 20 is just has just come in the next line or the new line is it clear <clears throat> i hope it is clear very much simple right next is um 
what is ideally because they have just given you because you started here also what is ideally is integrated development environment for editing and running python commands so if we type an arithmetic expression at the python prompt and press the enter key the interpreter automatically evaluates it and display the result as it is giving to us right so this i have just uh, shown you before that how it is evaluating the expressions and all i'll tell you what is expression basically uh, 11 mm, let's say multiply by 2 we'll be having 22 okay 11 then star that is multiply 5 we'll get the 55 okay <coughs> So, 22 multiply by 22, 484, now I will be doing the raised to power 2, how we will be writing raised to power or uh, the value in exponential form, I will be writing 22, then 2 times star, then 2, it will be the raised to power 2, 22 raised to power 2, this means, that, that is why I just shown you this uh, demonstration of 22 multiplied by 22 because I want you to see the result both are same uh, either we can do like this or we can do like this okay another one <coughs> is 12 plus 45 minus 6 you can easily see that 51 because 12 plus 45 will be added after adding we got 57 57 minus 6 is equal to 51. Remember the board mass rule? Right? So, subtraction is being done at the end. Board mass means bracket of divide, multiply, addition, subtraction. So, before subtraction, addition will be implemented or executed. Okay? This is here also board mass being used and Besides board mass, we have other precedence of operators also. That means other operators which are having more priority than the board mass operators. I'll tell you, I'll show you. There is a table there. Next is script mode. Now I am stopping the interactive mode and uh, I'll be switching to the script mode. So how we can use a script mode and first see what is a script mode. Script mode basically... Um, uh, uh, here in the interactive mode python displays the result of expressions in the script mode however python does not automatically display the results we use an interactive mode when we write small program because the output in the interactive mode is compressed between the statement and is not suitable for writing lengthy programs that means in the interactive mode we are not allowed to write, write lengthy programs more than one line we cannot write because you can see here if I'll be writing anything, if I'll be pressing enter, it will give the result. So, in we can only use uh, one line only in the interactive mode because it is interacting with us. Okay, it is giving the result side by side. But in the script mode, you can write a full program, number of lines you can write. How we'll be writing? So, we have to go to click, uh, sorry, file. Then we have to, sorry, uh, uh, new window, right here, new window is this, and uh, we'll be writing here, whatever program we want to write. So, one example is given here, a very, very small example, print, python is a case sensitive language and enter see we didn't get any result here right because this is a script mode we are writing a script here number of lines we are writing next we'll be printing 25 then next we'll be printing your 12 plus 245 okay enter next will be your 34 is greater than 
32 okay so this will be saving it will save see whatever window will be appearing here you have to use that very window only okay just uh, give the code practice one and this is the extension dot py or d dot pyw i have saved it <coughs> okay so now is the time to run the module you have to go to run and run the module so see <coughs> Can you see the first one is print python is a case sensitive language it has been written here automatically means one by one it got you know executed next is 25 another one is 12 plus 245 257 another one is 34 is greater than 32 that is true okay you got it you are writing in a script mode but you are getting the answer in an interactive mode okay means in a python shell so i hope you understood it next comes here variables so while creating programs in python you may require some storage location to hold the value to be used later so whenever we need these values we can draw these values from the storage uh, let's see the example um, a variable can store only one data value at a time so when a new value is stored in a variable its previous value gets overwritten that means if once you have used a is equal to 20 and it gets executed after that after 5 or 10 minutes you used a is equal to 20 that doesn't mean that a is equal to 10 which was previously assigned will be saved there because it will be overwritten by the new value that is we have given a is equal to 20 right so a is equal to 10 that means hash the value 10 is stored in a variable a 20 means being assigned to b and c is equal to a multiply b whatever result we got that is 200 will be stored in c clear so let's use of these variables in a very interactive way so let's do one thing uh, we'll be writing in a script mode only right because the interactive modes is not allowing us to write more than one line a is equal to 10 sorry enter b is equal to 20 c is equal to a multiply by b and we will be printing these the result of multiplication is uh, this i am writing on our, on our own because you can write anything whatever line you want to you know print it is up to you see close that's it okay because in c we got the result and uh, now i'll be running okay uh, this said you must save it uh, i just said i saved so the result of multiplication is 200 okay these three lines won't be displayed because we have not used print function here we have only used print function to display the result only okay so these are the variables that does not need any print function because print function and variable both are different thing okay so some rules to you know define or declare the variables a variable must name a variable, na a variable name must start with an alphabet capital or small or an underscore that means whenever you want to declare any variable here you can write like this also underscore a or you can write a you cannot write number on number okay you cannot write 2a is equal to 87 this is a wrong variable okay a variable name can consist of alphabet digits and underscore no other character is allowed a python keyword cannot be used as a variable name python keywords are basically some reserved words which are being used here like print you cannot use print here okay you cannot use type function which will be coming right now after this page remember space is not allowed in a variable name that means if you are writing ab is equal to 20 so you have to you know write like this ab is equal to 20 you cannot write like this a is space b is equal to 20 because that doesn't make any sense here yeah. space is not allowed okay Uh, remember a variable name can be of any length you can write um, like roll number these are the case sensitive 
roll underscore num in small letters and roll underscore num are different variable names as I told you is a case sensitive language. So these are some more examples you can read it, you can see it. Uh, next is invalid variable name like book space name. Space cannot be uh, given or it's not allowed. 90 price I told you variable cannot start with a number. Book dot dot is basically not allowed. Dot is the concatenate or the calling function which can't be used separately. Uh, book at the rate cannot be allowed. Min. Min is a keyword in Python so it cannot be used as a variable in min or max. Okay. Next is data types in Python. So data type is basically what type of data you are entering in the Python that is with the help of using the data types. So there are three data types given here. First is the integer data type that is int. Second is float that means it will represent the point value that is decimal numbers. Another one is the string. String is suppose your name is Amarinder and Amarinder Singh. So this is a string basically. Amarinder Singh is a combination of different different letters or the characters including space. So that is a string enclosed with single or double quotes. It is just written here as a rule. Okay. So integer, plain integer, long integer, boolean. Plain integer stores a value because I told you those are integers can have or can contain a negative and the positive values that is the range 21474836482 to minus 21474836482 that I have memorized it because I was doing in my engineering because these are very lengthy words I am you know learning it in pairs 21474836482 I just learned it okay you can do also uh, long integers support the value that lie beyond the range of the plain integer that means beyond these integers uh, values okay if you are using scientific values of the bigger values terms right you can use a long integer long int okay so if you are using any decimal point value you can uh, use float if you are using string that means you can use a string if you are writing any name or something so these are the examples 1500 if you are writing you can come it can come in int minus 1986 can also come in integer because minus and plus both are included next is 709 comma 789 is a bigger term right uh, because they have just skipped the dot here because 709 comma must not come it is uh, it was you know full stop here or the dot because float, these are the decimal number example next is integer 423.0 it can come in integer because uh, in integer because uh, no uh, number has been or the digit is you know, written uh, at the right side of the decimal next is string python underscore language which is enclosed in single code okay this is a string example boolean i told you bool means two that either two true or false okay so it is a uh, boolean example next is type function so we'll be writing type and uh, in bracket we'll be writing any number it will tell you uh, what kind of uh, data ta data you have entered so i'll be closing this script oh, i won't close it i'll just um, so here i'll be writing print then bracket start okay uh, then then i'll be writing sumit okay sorry uh, not used print uh, type here because i have to write type then enter so this belongs to class string okay so i'll be writing again type 56 sorry uh, enter it is integer data type type uh oh I missed that um, E.
enter this is float okay type 40, 34 45 this is a bool okay so simple next is the input function so input function allows you to enter the value while running dynamically on a program okay so just start uh, before this i just want to differentiate input and the print function and uh, that uh, other file too a is equal to 10 b is equal to 20 c is equal to a multiplied by b okay <clears throat> this i was writing after that i was running the program because i have just given all the values here only okay that means whatever i want to execute i am giving it in a script mode uh, all together okay side by side line by line how whatever sequence you want okay but here in you know script mode uh, i'll be uh, you know erasing it okay so i'll be giving the input okay that means i'll be using the input a is equal to input what input uh, enter your name okay space comma and enter then after that print print what because whatever you will be writing here will be assigned to a because equal to sign is there equal to sign is not the uh, like barabar nahi karta it's not equal sign it's the assignment operator which assigns whatever is at the right side to the left side that is on that is a variable okay means the right side value will be assigned to the left side variable and uh, print a okay so i'll be running it okay i'll save it so it will ask enter your name see they have given us the opportunity to write dynamically while entering while running so much so whatever i am writing will be displayed here clear it's very easy you see so let's suppose you want to write anything so you want to you know um, add the numbers this is the example basically so let me a is equal to input very much interesting chapter this is because this will help you create your own programming skills will enhance your skills input right so whatever you want enter the first number okay so whatever uh, spacing you want to give you can give okay then b do not always say take a or b you can write x y also it's up to your choice okay input bracket start enter the second sorry second number yeah okay so now print what you want to print must also in very you know uh, you can uh, uh, use double quote or a single quote it's up to you the result of addition is then space then comma x plus y bracket close enter f5 okay so enter the first number so i'm writing 34 then i'll pressing the enter it will ask for the second number uh oh there is some error what error oh my god the input word is not correct you didn't tell me input okay uh, basically my laptop key u is having some trouble with it okay so let's start it again 34 enter 34 will be getting 60 uh oh so confusion 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 huh so here in the script mode while having the mode access in a dynamic mode plus is basically the concatenation function concatenation function means if i'll be writing sumit plus 
Sadana. It will give me the result Sumit Sadana. Okay. So this I just want to clear. Uh, D is equal to X plus Y. And I am just running it. And uh, let's see to it. D, F5, okay. 2 plus 3, 23. You got it? Both the terms, you got this. Okay. So this is input. This is basically uh, the plus sign 90 plus is the concatenation function which joins two strings. Okay. So whatever uh, you want to write, you can add it easily. You can concatenate it. Okay. So this was the multiplication function. So multiplication function, I'll just, uh, you know, tell you because uh, let's do the multiplication function also. Multiply by y, not y, it's 2. Okay. Then I'll be pressing. Okay. 2, 2. Okay. We got 22. If I'll be, you know, again, if I'll be running it. 2, 6. Again, it's 22. Okay. So, because 2 is the constant. Okay. And it is coming as it is. Right. Next, we'll do x multiply by y. Pressing y. See the error. Can you see the error? Can't multiply sequence by non integer of type string because multiply will be used for string only. Right? Enter your first name. Last name. Okay. And the Smith Sadana. Okay. The error has come. Um, let's change something here because we are just doing a hands on session and I'm just showing you what error you can get after writing a wrong number or right number right because this is not a because you cannot multiply the number with the integer right sorry the, the, the string with the non integer value um, just okay error is there right because the same way as in the chapter also because the same error we are getting displaying error because this happens because the data type of variable is a string by default and the string can neither be added nor be multiplied so to convert this string into an integer or float value we use the function int function and float function respectively okay so you can see here uh, we were writing this input because Input is taking by default the number only. So now we have to, you know, um, use the integer function here before this to get our multiplication done here. Okay. F5. Okay. So I am writing the first name because I have used number, right? So first name I have not changed. Let me close it. Uh, this is the first number, second number, F5, okay. I'm using F5, right? What error I got? Just let me see what error I got here. F5. 
Oh, let me close it. Kill it. Run. Yeah, I got the number. Enter the first. Two. Enter the second number. Four. So we got eight now because it was working on string only. Now it was it is working on integer because we have just converted our this uh, input function into a integer input function. Okay. So now I'll be uh, using that some operators here, right? So operators are basically uh, there is a concept of uh, variables and various data types in Python. Which is very much clear. So there are some arithmetic operators and the logical operators. Arithmetic operators, you know that plus minus, uh, multiplication, division, uh, the remainder function, right? Uh, logical operators are your AND or NOT. Relational operators are your less than, greater than, right? So some examples have been given here. Operators which we are using right now in the in our, you know. Python program. So arithmetic operators, these operators are used to perform arithmetic operations on the data. These can be further classified as unary and binary operators. So unary operators, they work on a single operand. That means unary plus and unary minus. That means a is equal to 10, a is equal to minus 10. This is the unary operator. Okay. Minus 10 or plus 10. Because we have only one operand that is 10. If I'll be writing minus 20, 20 will be the operand. Okay. And another one is the binary operators. These work on two operands. You know that binary means two, unary means one. Addition, 30 plus 20, 50, and so on like this. Modulus is the remainder function which gives you the remainder. Modulus is a percentage sign which is the remainder function. Next is integer division to divide the numbers and give the result in integer form. You will write double slash. Okay. Uh, it will come in integer only. Uh, let me show you this thing. Uh, this is integer, first number, and uh, divide by this is div divide. Okay, I'm dividing, and uh, I'll be you know dividing um, x y. Let me just divide it and show you three. Three divided by two. Okay, I got one point five. Clear, right? So, this is basically, uh, we got the answer in floating point in, in decimal number. So, now I want in integer only. So, what I will write here, I will just put 2 slash f5. Okay. So, same way, I will write 3 and 2, but I will get result that is 1. Can you see that? Because point 0.5 will be covered with double slash because we got the answer in this was 10 divided by 4 means 2.5. If same way I want the division result in integer form only, then double slash 4 is equal to 2. 0.5 will be, you know, rounded off. Modulus will the remainder function. Uh, the same way we are using 10 divided by 3, we'll get 3.3.333, right? So, that 1 will be the remainder. So, answer will be 1, not the 3.33. That is a quotient, okay? And 3 is the divisor. The same way exponential I just told you uh, and I told you before also by demonstrating it 3 star star 4 means 3 multiply 3 multiply 3 multiply 3 3 3 is a 9 3 is a 27 3 is a 81 we got 81 right so this is the program which you can do it right uh, I'll just give it to you whatever you want to do just some programs are given here for your practice just do it next is the string operators String operators work on string values only. Uh, these operators are of two types. First is plus, second is replication, that is multiplication. Uh, multiply, we are not saying multiply, it is replication of the number of uh, the string for number of times you want to print it. This is the example Kips plus learning will have Kips learning, like I said, Sumit plus Sadhana is equal to Sumit Sadhana without any space. Okay. Next is the replicated function. Uh, another one that is uh, replicated sorry operator kips multiply by four will get kips 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 four times okay so here you can see this um, a is equal to input enter the first string enter the second string okay so let me show you the working here five 
first string second string so i'll be just deleting that integer point x multiply by sorry x plus y and print sorry i'll just copy it you can also copy paste it multiply by 5 sorry 4 okay so i'm just pressing f5 okay so whatever we'll get so with sadana so Sumit Sadana, first I got with the help of concatenation function, okay, plus and next is x, x is basically the first string that is Sumit, 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 four times I got, clear string operators, first is the concatenation, the next one is the replication, another one is the assignment operator, I just told you a is equal to 290, 290 is a value which will be assigned to variable a, very simple, I have just, I shown you the demonstration also, right, Next, less than, greater than, less than, equal to, greater than, equal to, not equal to, or equal to. These are the relational operators, uh, right? So, you can use it uh, very well. A is equal to 100, B is equal to 30. If A is greater than B, that is true. A is equal to, equal to B is false. I just want to, you know, demonstrate A equals to, equals to, because I have not shown you the working of this. So, just delete this. Right, uh, a is equal to 23 and uh, b is equals to 23. Print a equals to equals to b. Okay, f5. Okay, true. Can you see it? It's true because a is equal to is equal to b. If I'll be writing 2, press f. Okay, we'll get false. You can see this is false because 23 is not equal to 2. Simple. Likewise, you can apply these. Okay. So, one example is given to you as a program. You just do it on your own. Right. Next is the logical operators and or are not. So, these are very much important. Right. For you, the operators are used to combine two or more conditional statements. Uh, they provide the result in the form of true or false. There are three types and or and not. And means give the result true if all the specified conditions are true. That means if A is less than 100 and B is less than A. A is less than 100, B is less than A. True and false. So, what will be the answer? It will be false because A is equal to 28. Right? And A is less than 100. That is true. But B is less than A. B is 78. A is 28. 78 can't be less than 28. It's false. Then both the conditions before and and after and must be true. Then only the answer will be true. Otherwise, it will be false in and operator and logical operator. Both the conditions must be true. Okay. Next is or either one of the condition is true. The answer will be true. Likewise, A is less than 100. B is less than A. Or sign is there. First value ka answer true. Hai. Second ka false. But either of the condition is true. Then the answer will be true. Not. It reverses or negates the given condition. If the answer is true. It will give you the false. If the answer is false. will give you true. Right. So, ye ulta kar deta. Inverse kar deta usko. Clear. Inverse. Iska hala hi one upon kar dega. Inverse ulta kar dega. Reverse kar dega. Okay. So, this has been given as an example. Uh, you just do it. Uh, next one is the precedence of operators. Precedence uh, is basically the priority in which the operators are equivalent or evaluated in an expression. I just told you like the board mass rule, right? Bracket off. Uh, we have more priority, you know, operators also like parentheses will be done firstly. Uh, brackets, you know that, right? then exponential form, then unary uh, plus minus, then multiplication to be arithmetic, binary addition subtraction, then relational, then boolean or logical operators will be done. Okay. Next is your comments. 
Comments are basically are the statements that are added to the program with the purpose of making the code easier to understand. So here, um, what is being done here, uh, like this? Uh, so one single line comments and multiple line comments are given here, right? So what are these basically? Single line comments are created by beginning a line with the hash character and are automatically terminated at the end of the line wherever you leave the line after full stop right so hash this is a program used to calculate the simple interest they just given to us uh, one line comment okay so next is multi line comments multi line comments is basically started with a delimiter that is three times the inverted quotes okay so sometimes you may uh, your program may need to explain things in more details like you want two three lines uh, for one code or one block so you can use these three inverted commas at the starting and at the ending okay so it will not be uh, executed it will be in a comment section okay it is just for the explanation of the block what you have written okay next are your types of control statements control structures so these are basically very much important um, statements are generally executed in a sequential manner however at times the user may need to change this order of execution by repeating or skipping the execution of a few statement this i will help you in the you know flowchart this is the flowchart of a control structure so we have started by clicking the start button after that go to the atm and enter the pin up if is the correct pin entered अगर तो आप कोई गलत पिन एंटर कर देते हो तो नो कैन नॉट विदड्रॉ द मनी वहां पे ही आपकी ट्रांजैक्शन स्टॉप हो जाती है इफ ये फ्लो चार्ट है दिस इज बेसिकली यू नो जंपिंग द स्टेटमेंट अगर यस है तो ये आएगा आंसर नो है तो ये आएगा दैट मींस द कंडीशंस आर देयर राइट इन द फॉर्म ऑफ पिक्टोरियल रिप्रेजेंटेशन सो एक फर्स्ट वन इज द सीक्वेंशियल स्टेटमेंट्स की एक के बाद एक रन होती जाती है ठीक है लाइक like, L is equal to integer input. Enter the length of a rectangle 20. Then enter the breadth of a rectangle 40. Uh, area AR is equal to length into breadth. We know that. So the area of rectangle is AR. We got the answer. Line by line, uh, the program is executed. That means the statements are being executed in a sequential manner. Okay. Next, conditional statements. Conditional statements uh, uh, cause the program control to transfer from one specific location to the other specific location according to the outcome of the conditional expression कि अगर आपका program yes होता है ठीक है तो देखो यहाँ पे हम चले start go to ATM enter pin यहाँ अगर yes हो गया तो वो left side नहीं जाएगी ये चीज skip होगी ठीक है तो yes हो के ये इधर आ गई withdraw कर गया ये चीज तो skip होगी ना तो means दो condition लगी हुई थी और condition है इसमें ये अगर ट्रू हो जाता है अगर पासवर्ड करेक्ट फिल हो जाता है तो आप विड्रॉ कर सकते हो अदरवाइज नो ठीक है इफ करेक्ट पे ने एंटर कंडीशन ही है प्लान क्या है यू कैन विड्रॉ द मनी इफ इनकरेक्ट तो प्लान ऑफ एक्शन क्या होगा यू कैन नॉट विड्रॉ द मनी दीज आर द कंडीशनल स्टेटमेंट्स बेसिकली कंडीशनल कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट्स ओके सो नेक्स्ट इज योर वेरी मच इंपॉर्टेंट explanation and syntax of conditional statement सबसे पहली तो if condition है आपकी ध्यान से सुनना बहुत ही आराम से कि if condition क्या है the statement is used to evaluate only one condition if this then if this then print means देखो मैं आपको करके दिखाऊंगा ठीक है so a is equal to input um enter the first number okay b is equal to copy kar lunga second number a equals to equals to ye kis mein dalna if a equals to equals to b then कॉलन ठीक है और ये ब्रैकेट में नहीं डालना मुझे एक्चुअली सी प्लस प्लस की आदत पड़ी हुई थोड़ी सी प्रोग्रामिंग प्लस में मैंने करवाई थी बच्चों को 
तो इफ ए इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू बी अगर तो ये ट्रू है तो प्रिंट करवा दो क्या प्रिंट करवा दो द नंबर आर इक्वल इसमें कोई आ, हमने क्या कहते हैं वो नहीं प्रिंट करवाना कि ए प्रिंट करवाना या बी प्रिंट करवाना इसमें बस कंडीशन चेक हो गई तो आपने वो एक फ्रेज या सेंटेंस लिखना था नंबर आर इक्वल ठीक है बहुत आर इक्वल कुछ भी लिख सकते हो ठीक है तो हम प्रेस करते हैं एफ फाइव ओके करते हैं तो हमसे पूछेगा नंबर हम एंटर कर रहे हैं नंबर एक मिनट ऊपर कर दू इसको मैं ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉल्स ये ट्वेंटी थ्री फॉल्स कैसे आ गया ट्वेंटी थ्री एक सेकेंड ये क्या एर आया तो ओ यस 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 बेसिकली ए इज इक्वल टू बी उसने ऑटोमेटिकली उसे ढा लिया तो वो इंटीजर टाइप लेना हमने <coughs> इसलिए वो एरर आया उसका इंटीजर ठीक है एफ फाइव ओके ट्वेंटी थ्री एंटर ट्वेंटी थ्री सो द नंबर आर इक्वल अगर हम दोबारा करते हैं ट्वेंटी थ्री फिफ्टी सिक्स तो कुछ नहीं आएगा क्योंकि हमने कंडीशन ही एक चेक करने की दी है अगर हमने सिर्फ यही दिया ए इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू बी ठीक है हमने एल्स की कंडीशन ही नहीं लगाई अभी अगर ये नहीं तो ये ठीक है तो अभी क्या होगा कि प्रिंट कर दो एल्स प्रिंट नॉट इक्वल मैं फाइव कर रहा हूं देखते हैं कोई एरर तो नहीं आता इन वैलिड सिंटेक्स क्यों क्योंकि यहां पे हमने ये नहीं लगाया अगेन इन वैलिड ठीक है एल्स के साथ हमने ठीक था क्या रह गया ठीक था बिल्कुल इफ दिस एल सी ठीक है आप फाइव करते हैं या आ गया ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री नंबर आर इक्वल ये पहली स्टेटमेंट आपकी चल गई एफ फाइव दोबारा कर रहा हूं मैं ट्वेंटी थ्री सेवेंटी एट नॉट इक्वल देखा एल्स की चली क्यों अब यहां देखो जब मैंने ट्वेंटी थ्री ट्वेंटी थ्री डाला A इज इक्वल टू पहले क्या किया A में मैंने 23 एंटर किया एंटर किया न्यू लाइन पे आ गया फिर यहाँ पे 23 एंटर किया फिर नेक्स्ट इफ स्टेटमेंट स्टार्ट हुई क्योंकि सीक्वेंशियल मैनर है ध्यान रखना ठीक है सीक्वेंस कहा टूटेगा अकॉर्डिंग टू द कंडीशन A इज इक्वल टू इज इक्वल टू बी जैसे ही 23 थ्री इज इक्वल टू ट्वेंटी हुआ तो उसने ट्रू कर दिया तो उसने ये कंडीशन लगा दी और ये दोनों स्किप कर दिए बाहर आ गया क्लियर अब सेकंड कंडीशन जो एल्स की कंडीशन हमने ट्रू करवानी थी ये 23 किया सेकंड एंटर हमने 78 कर दिया तो 23 इक्वल टू इक्वल टू 78 ये कंडीशन फॉल्स हो गई तो ये वाला ब्लॉक स्किप हो गया एल्स पे आ गया एल्स पे सीधा आ गया नॉट इक्वल क्योंकि एल्स पे हमें करवाने की जरूरत नहीं है ठीक है अगर मोर देन टू आपको दिखती है कि कंडीशन uh, है ज्यादा है ठीक है जैसे कैलकुलेटर होता है आगे एक एग्जांपल है कैलकुलेटर बना हुआ है वो मैं आपको करके दिखाता हूं ठीक है तो तब केस में उसका ये इफ एल्स कंट्रोल स्टेटमेंट थी आगे आता है इफ एल्स इफ एल्स ये दो स्टेटमेंट अगर दो हमने ट्रू करवा करवानी है तो मतलब इसमें ग्रेटर देन और स्मॉलर देन हमने फाइंड आउट करना है ठीक है तो ये देखो तो इसमें है फर्स्ट नंबर सेकेंड इफ ब्रैकेट नहीं यूज करनी हमने ए इज ग्रेटर देन बी प्रिंट क्या प्रिंट करवाना आपने कि आपका जो ए है इज अ ग्रेटर नंबर ठीक है एल्स इफ एल्स इफ देखो एल्स इफ साथ में ही ब्रैकेट स्टार्ट एल्स का एस ही नहीं है एल एफ है ठीक है तो ये ध्यान रखना B इज इक्वल टू ग्रेटर देन ए ठीक है तो प्रिंट करवाओ जो B है आपका इज अ ग्रेटर नंबर ठीक है तो फिर एंड में आएगा एल्स एल्स क्या है बोथ आर इक्वल
ठीक है तो हम एंटर करते हैं पहले ओके या एंटर द फर्स्ट नंबर फोर्टी फाइव सेकेंड नंबर फिफ्टी फोर फिफ्टी फोर इज द ग्रेटर नंबर अब हमें यहां नहीं पता कि बी नंबर था कि ए था ठीक है हालांकि हमें कंडीशन तो पता थी बट यहां पे लिखा नहीं हमने बी ए मैं दोबारा एंटर कर रहा हूं आप देखना यहां पे ट्वेंटी थ्री जो ए है हमारा फोर्टी थ्री तो फोर्टी थ्री बी इज अ ग्रेटर नंबर अब इसको भी थोड़ा और अच्छा कर सकते हैं ठीक है वो कैसे एंटर द ए नंबर बी नंबर ठीक है तो उसमें ये चीज की जरूरत नहीं होगी समझ आई एंटर द ए नंबर ए हमारा ये है हमारा फिफ्टी सिक्स इज अ ग्रेटर ठीक है क्लियर सो इट इज वेरी मच इजी ठीक है तो दोनों कंडीशन तो हमारी ट्रू हो गई अब नेक्स्ट यहाँ पे मल्टीपल कंडीशन है एक तरह का कैलकुलेटर है प्लस माइनस मल्टीप्लीकेशन और डिवीजन का और साथ में चॉइस है साथ में ठीक है तो ये देखना है एक बार कि हम क्या कर रहे हैं ये जस्ट मिनट मैं ये ओपन कर लू ये क्रॉस कर रहा हूं मैं ठीक है तो एंटर द फर्स्ट नंबर सेकेंड नंबर ठीक है अब जो सी है ठीक है सी में हमने इनपुट करवाना है कि कोई आप अपनी चॉइस का एंटर योर चॉइस और ऑपरेटर कौन सा ऑपरेटर आप चुनना चाहते हो कि कौन सी यू नो ऑपरेशन आप परफॉर्म करना चाहते हो या फिर क्या लिख देते हैं विच अरिथ सॉरी मेटिक ऑपरेशन यू वन परफॉर्म ठीक है वेरी सिंपल ठीक है तो इसमें अब ये चीजें हट जाएंगी तो C में रहेगा इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू सिंगल कोट अगर आप प्लस का करना चाहते हो ठीक है तो ये कॉपी कर रहा हूं ठीक है So, इसमें सीधा आ जाएगा द सम इज कॉमा क्या है ए प्लस बी ए प्लस बी ये प्लस बी क्यों चलेगा क्योंकि यहां पे इंटीजर इनपुट टाइप हमने ली हुई है ठीक है ये ध्यान रखना थोड़ा सा तो नेक्स्ट मैं ये कॉपी कर रहा हूं ठीक है तो इसमें आएगा एलिफ एलिफ ही है ना देखो ध्यान से C इज इक्वल टू अगर मैंने माइनस यूज करना है तो कॉपी पेस्ट माइनस द सब्रैक्शन इज क्लियर एल एफ अगेन सी इज इक्वल टू इक्वल टू क्या मल्टीप्लीकेशन अगर आप मल्टीप्लाई पे प्रेस करते हो तो मल्टीप्लाई यहां जाएगा प्रोडक्ट प्रोडक्टेज ठीक है नेक्स्ट देखो लास्ट में क्या है बेस सॉरी एल एफ सी इक्वल्स टू इक्वल्स टू डिवाइड अगर आप डिवाइड प्रेस करते हो पेस्ट डिवाइड द डिविजन रिजल्ट इज ठीक है तो लास्ट है एल्स एल्स क्या प्रिंट करवाना चाहते हो नॉट अ वैलिड ऑपरेटर या फिर नॉट सिलेक्टेड अ वैलिड ऑपरेटर ठीक है तो करे रन क्या ओके मैं ओके कर रहा हूं तो आ गया वहां पे एंटर द फर्स्ट नंबर ट्वेंटी टू
only two का थे two which arithmetic operator you wanna perform ठीक है और use जो भी करना चाहते हो तो मैं करता हूँ पहले plus का नहीं मैं सीधा minus का ही करूँगा आपको बस दिखा दूँ minus किया मैंने तो two minus two zero clear देखो result हमारा काफी successful रहा ठीक है फिर तो मैंने मैंने ये thirty four और twenty अब मैं क्या कर रहा हूँ इसको plus कर रहा हूँ तो आएगा मेरा fifty four प्लस पे एंटर किया तो मेरा आंसर 54 आ गया क्लियर तो ये एक तरह का कैलकुलेटर होता है आप लोग कर सकते हो इजीली ठीक है मैं दोबारा कर रहा हूं क्योंकि मैं सारे आपको करके दिखाऊंगा चारों के चारों जो मैंने बनाए हैं फिर मैं अब कर रहा हूं 2 सॉरी हां 2 और 4 मेरा रह गया मल्टीप्लिकेशन मल्टीप्लिकेशन तो 4 था 8 तो आंसर मेरा 8 अब रह गया डिवाइड तो मैं फिर f5 करूंगा उस पे जाके तो मैं बेसिकली कर क्या रहा हूं मैं यहां पे जाता हूं वो मैं कीबोर्ड से शॉर्टकट यूज करता हूं ऑल टैब ऑल्ट प्लस टैब जिससे विंडो में स्विच कर सकता हूं बहुत जल्दी से ठीक है अह यहां पे आके मैं F5 प्रेस करता हूं या फिर रन पे जाके रन मॉड्यूल जो कि F5 ही शॉर्टकट है रन मॉड्यूल का तो यहां पे अब मेरा रह गया डिवीजन डिवीजन में 16 कर रहा हूं और 4 तो आंसर मेरा 4 4 द 16 4 आएगा आंसर ठीक है तो मैं डिवाइड बाय किया 4.0 क्लियर क्योंकि ये इंटीजर था तो 4.0 दिखा देता है डिवाइड है ठीक है अगर मैं डबल करता सेम चीज देखो डिवाइड में मैं इसमें थोड़ी चेंजेस करूंगा मुझे सिर्फ इंटीजर में चाहिए क्योंकि आपको पता है कि डबल स्लैश का मतलब है कि इंटीजर ये देखिए 16 4 मेरा आंसर अब 4 आएगा देखो पॉइंट जीरो नहीं आया ना क्योंकि मैंने आपको बताया था कि अगर इंटीजर है तो 4.0 आ जाएगा आंसर अगर 4.5 भी आता है तो तभी इंटीजर में 4.5 आ जाएगा आंसर डेसिमल में अगर आपको चाहिए कि राउंडेड करना है राउंड ऑफ करना है आपने तो सीधा 4 आ जाएगा आंसर क्लियर आई होप दिस मच इज अंडरस्टूड टू यू ऑल राइट अगर कोई दिक्कत होगी तो यू जस्ट आस्क मी ओके तो दिस वाज इट योर पाइथन चैप्टर आई होप यू लाइक इट यू अंडरस्टूड इट ठीक है ये सारा चैप्टर था आपका बट अभी खत्म नहीं हुआ एट चैप्टर जो नेक्स्ट वीडियो में आ रहा है ठीक है उसको जरूर देखना बिकॉज़ उसमें आइटरेटिव स्टेटमेंट्स है आपकी लूपिंग स्टेटमेंट्स है ठीक है ओके हैव अ नाइस डे बाय बाय स्टे ट्यून्ड फॉर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो